uh, Richard Back's transcript. Um, it's very exciting times and there's very major uh, activities going on. Uh, I saw there was a slide of potential unintended consequences. Uh, there are some questions like post-marketing commitments which uh, the industry will not really know about, will not be able to address until obviously things start to happen with adaptive licensing. Uh, could, you, could you say uh, from now on what the roadmap is for you to actually start exploring and, and using real life data to make decisions? You direct this to yeah. Olga. Olga. Actually, we, um, you know, we have already some tools, you know, to uh, actually um, monitor the medicines and post-authorization obligations of uh, the uh, of um, the marketing authorization holders, which are attached to the marketing authorization. Actually, um, this is exactly the question that you know we need to understand at this point, and you know so how see uh, if we have the mechanism that this works into an adaptive licensing. Uh, scenario because indeed you know what you said it is a very valid you know point you know how this real world data you know would fit into the system are mechanism and tools you know um, that they are in place already. We heard from Gillian, and it was very interesting for me to see, you know, how many of the member states they are ready, you know, to have such uh, systems, and um, you know, there were just very few on the top of the list that, you know, there was the certainty that they can do it. There were some others that they were likely, but you know, this is uh, for us actually what we are trying to explore with the member states, and that's why we started this initiative because we need to understand, you know, what mechanisms, what, what tools we have there to actually go into this pathway in a safe way.